What's up? It's Torch Game Devlog 3, starting now. The starting of the game needed a heavy revamp. It had almost no impact. So we analyzed a bunch of popular games, and an intriguing intro seems to be a common element. Torch. First up is the skybox for the intro area. I'm using this as a reference, so I hope it gets close. I'm painting a flat image that will then be projected onto a massive sphere in the sky to give the appearance of an epic skybox. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Where's the sauce? Since that is way too long, we are going to solve it by using... Nice. Taking a short break away from the intro, I added another attack to the warden. Yep, you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. The idea came because the player will be on different height levels, and if all the warden has is a melee attack, the player will be completely untouched, on the rafters and at a range. When performing the ranged attack, the warden launches a homing projectile with the scythe attached. The projectile is using the built-in Unreal Engine projectile movement component set to a homing projectile with an extremely high magnitude. These two components add the trails that you can see following the scythe. News updates. Yo, it's Kernels. So recently I've been getting my hands into VFX. Since we wanted to start off the game with a desert scene, I was tasked with creating the VFX for this environment. I started by working on a basic rolling dust cloud effect through using a simple cloud texture particle and some horizontal velocity, I was able to create a rough moving dust cloud effect. I also spent some time implementing a basic footstep particle effect to depict the player kicking up sand. Yet the footsteps sound like we're walking on concrete. Both of these effects are in their basic forms and will be expanded upon till the desired results are achieved. 10 years later. I made some progress on the dust particles and added rocks. The dust particles have been updated to be physics based to allow for them to follow the train as if they were being blown by the wind. The rocks were created through a mesh particle system using the same techniques as the dust to follow the train. I've also spent time creating a material function through the use of panning textures and noises to recreate streaks in the sand to further convey the idea of wind blowing through the valleys. I will continue to work on these VFXs and eventually expose parameters so these effects will be controlled through a master blueprint that can alter their speed and direction. This will give more power and flexibility to our level designer Sam to further develop the look and feel of our environment. I wanted to take some time to say goodbye to the old level. We have decided to go about designing our levels in a better and more organized way instead of... Bruh! Sam did an amazing job at the time when he designed this, but it was becoming bloated and didn't fit our upgraded game design ideas. Last but not least for this devlog, let's make the warden a little bit smarter. Started off by making a look around type animation. 
or when the warden loses sight of the player. Then I added an event that happens after each attack, where the warden will go to where the player was last seen. For something relatively simple, it adds a lot of depth. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like and subscribe if you did. Peace.